What sells on eBay? What is it that you need to buy to make a profit? Well, that is the question, isn't it? I haven't got that for you today, but what I've got is some things to maybe avoid. The anti-bolo. This is a whole load of things that I've grabbed um, which have been fails, which I think is sort of sometimes a bit more interesting and trying to think of why they failed and um, why to avoid them again. And grabbing these things, there is a bit of a common theme running through them. So some of these are really, really, really old. Like I bought them at um, Greasby's auctions in Tooting. Um, and I got a, probably a lot of fails from there. That was when I was first reselling. I was, would go down there. Um, let me get on and show you a few of them. Um, right, first one. Well, let's talk about these two. I've got about half a dozen, like I say. So, Greasby's had a load of this Amtec gear. Um, this is bicycle storage, and I thought bike stuff would go really well. This one's a saddle bag, and this one's like a, an under, goes in the middle of your bike. And, I mean, I say these are fails. I probably have got my money back and I've probably made profit on them. They're fails in terms of I've still got a fair bit of stock that is just sort of sitting around, and it certainly doesn't fly out of the shelves. Um, they had a lot of this Amtac gear. I bought um, a lot of riveters and I had some staple guns and didn't make a huge profit on them. Um, but like I say, I think, you know, with a lot of this stuff, quality is what you need. And Amtec um, isn't a quality brand. I mean, I've opened these up and they're not great things. Um, the market is also quite competitive for this sort of thing, so you have to bear that in mind when you're buying. Now, I'm, I'm going to actually look up how much I've got this for on eBay. It's, um, I'll probably realise I haven't got it listed or something ridiculous, but um, like I say, it's been on there... Well, it would have been three years, I think. Three or four years. Let's have a look at how much I'm trying to flog this at. And this would be one of those things that, you know, would have started probably around nine or ten pounds and has come down slowly, slowly, slowly. Yeah, so this one, oh, well, I'm trying to sell it for a fiver plus postage, both of these, that for a fiver plus postage. And I've tried promotions and, I, you know, I will try offers to watch this, but there's no one watching it. And that one for a fiver. Um, I can't remember how much I paid. I, you know, I bought them by the box. Probably, they're probably worth like, you know, I bought them for maybe a pound or two each. But just not going. Another one I got from the auction. Common theme here. <coughs> and again, I probably have made my money back on this. But I've got a whole big box. I'm talking big box of these and I thought the, these were going to make me huge amounts of money so they're you know someone's jogging they stick their phone in here but what I didn't realize when I bought them was the kind of phone that it takes it's for an old style phone basically probably from a phone from about five years ago so you know quite it's quite small um, now I got this, I remember I got these, I think I, pr I think I had two boxes of them and I've got rid of one box, but I got them for the minimum price and I thought, why is no one bidding on those? So it would have been like six quid plus, six quid plus fees maybe? So maybe under a tenner. Now I'm trying to sell these for 99p I think, you know, it's the lowest price you can have. Um, and I think I've added postage on top, let me have a look. Yeah, I've got one listing. Oh, it's one ninety nine and free postage for one, or seven pound forty nine and three forty nine postage. So like eleven quid for thirty. 
So it just goes to show I want to get rid of them. I have actually put them on sort of saying you can use them as security passes. You know, someone could have that and have a security pass in there. But uh, I was thinking, yeah, that you know, put a, put a new kind of use to it. Didn't really help. But like I say, I, I've sold the old one individually. You know, probably one sells every few months. And I've sold a couple of bulk ones. Um... So again, I would have I would have made more than my money back, but it's a fail in the terms. It's just sort of my expectation of what you know what was going to happen with it. I'm going to get these and they're going to fly out. Um, didn't quite come to pass, unfortunately. But what can you do? The next one I've got, I'll do one from this year, and I, I've probably mentioned this this year, um, and it's. Uh, crash helmet and this was a car boot pickup I've probably got about a dozen of these probably six small which I kind of thought yeah I, I can understand if that takes a long time and this is a medium one in silver um, I picked these up the guy was selling them they're new new in box um, I'm not I'm never that keen on buying used crash helmets or used um, stuff like you your baby seats used because you never know whether they've been in a crash and, and maybe compromise the safety aspect but seeing as the guy was selling them new um, I was quite happy to get so he wanted 20 pounds I think I ended up sort of you know getting a load and getting maybe a couple of quid off each one so um, we're talking about eighteen pounds I have paid. So for six of them, what's that? About hundred and ten quid. You know, in, I bought them in two. I saw them at the car boot once and bought a load, and then saw him again and thought, oh, I'll get another load. You know, chase chasing it really. Um, I'm trying to sell them. I think I, I think the RRP, and I think it's got it on it somewhere. Is apparently 70 and that's probably something that has made my eyes light up oh i can get it for 20 and people pay 70 but people don't really pay 70 and never be fooled by a rrp i'm trying to sell them for 40 um after originally putting them on 50 and there's absolutely no takers and um like i say i have mentioned this on stream and I think it was Neil, Funky Neil UK. Could be wrong. I'm not great with my names, but I think it was Neil. He just basically said, it's a crap brand. And people like to try on their helmets. You know, just to check fit. And, uh, yeah. I, I see it now. Um, now, obviously, I do... I have seen um, other resellers selling helmets, crash helmets... Um, I think George Ross has sold a few um, and I'm pretty sure they've been second hand um, so maybe it's something I need to look at into a bit more as to you know why uh, George has been able to sell that kind of thing second hand as well obviously I imagine it's been a great design on the helmet it's been a better make and he's picked it up cheap, maybe picked it up for a fiver. Um, but need to understand the market a little bit more for, for crush helmets. Right, the next one. I will mention one actually that people do, do bring up quite a lot. And that's the milk bottles. I haven't bought a milk bottle in. Um, I bought a load of... Let's see if I can get it on eBay. I did buy a load of milk bottles. I bought about 45 milk bottles. For about two pound each and again I thought oh these will be brilliant here's one Let's see if I can share this um, there we go Thai food fresh brew tea bags now again I thought they'd fly out for about a fiver each and it'd be easy easy to make my I think I paid 90 quid for 45 or something like that and you know in my brain i was thinking well i only need to sell about sort of like 25 of them to make money um i probably have made my money back on those but i've still got a lot left um and they're down i i've got them on at 
the better ones were a tenner and they seem to go and then the the lesser ones are about four or five quid each and they are sticking and people aren't taking them um so i just do want to clear those again if you are if you see those milk bottles i think it's something that was popular maybe a couple of years ago but not so much now if you are going to buy them i wouldn't pay more than a pound and the quality has got to be there i you know, i think if it's and and the subject matter i think if it's anything to do with breakfast cereal that is a good thing to get um anything a little bit quirky like i had a lego one um it was advertising lego land and i had one um which was the humphrey straws which was a thing in the 70s um i'd say those areas but you know make sure that it's not some of mine are really like shot to pieces and, and gone but um yeah i mean again not not a fail in terms of like i bought this and it's lost me money I, you know i do get plenty of those like i, I buy things that are broken or you know if you, the difference between these fails is that maybe they're sticking around i've had obviously you have other fails like you might buy a, you know some clothing it's got a hole in it and it, there's no point you selling it because the value's not there right here's another one um which i got from the book people um when it was uh, i think they've shut down now and i i bought a whole load of these this is what it is it's a party pack and um i think i spent about 200 quid on these and again i some have sold but it's the fact that i've got loads and loads of stock left and i probably have made my money back on them so this is party favors and this is sort of pirate party plates and, and banners and tablecloths balloons etc and when it got delivered my god it was like stacked up outside like box upon box and i was kind of thinking what have i done but i was quite excited and again this was this was probably four years ago and uh got them all on ebay and um well for, you know I, <laughs> I didn't didn't quite go as i planned and um some people when they were buying them they sort of said oh can i have more of one and less of another and i did split some of the packs but that was a bit of a nightmare because you kind of like left with half packs and um you know i think in hindsight if i if i did anything like this again i'd pretty much stick to maybe have a small amount for splitting out but you know stick to to keeping them in in the the packs that they are f f just for ease um they are on at the moment i'll tell you what if anybody wants any of this stuff let me know <laughs> um and i'm sure i can do a deal let's have a look pirates i can't remember how much i paid i think it would have been around about you know probably six quid or something and i'm trying to sell them at the moment for eight because i just want them cleared and i want the room and um, that's eight plus postage um i did sell one a couple of weeks ago and the woman was absolutely you know she loved it again i think the problem with that is there's a lot of this stuff out there party um you know favors party party wear party you know banners and etc if you go on ebay and do a search on it you will come up with like loads and loads of sellers and i guess it's the sort of thing you can get really really cheap from china so it's not a brilliant thing so that's something that's been hanging around for years and years and years right let's do another one from this year another one another one i thought i was going to make my millions on and retire it was these and again i saw some, this was a boot fair pickup from this year and um i did i i, I dipped my toe in the water twice with these because i i saw a woman selling these these come in boxes of eight of these okay and there are three different types okay yeah that's, that's quite a nice one it's a bit boring but you know and, and it's a belt buckle so you know it's um just goes on if you've got a normal belt it will just go in your normal belt a bit like this there we go and um 
I've probably got about a dozen boxes containing eight of these. So I've probably got about a hundred of these. And um, I thought, well, I'll, I'll stick them on for a fiver on eBay. And they'll fly out. And that, that would have been a, a nice bit of profit. Not one has sold. Not one at all. There were a couple of um, people selling them. Um, and now I've cut my price, but they still have not sold. Let's have a look. Let's... What have I got them on at? Uh, I've got them on for well. I've got a mixture. Um, I've got one. I'm trying one of them at five pound free postage, one at six pound free postage, and one at seven pound. And the one thing I did do, hopefully it would give it, because this is this has been a, a listing which I've recently revisited, and I added stocking filler to the title because you know I kind of thought yeah that's a that's an ideal stocking filler that one. Um, but no, not a single sale. So I might have to cut the price even further because you know I do want them, you know, want some traction on that listing, want them getting out, getting and going before Christmas. I mean, sometimes I think it's the way that if you get the right price, they begin to fly. I had, um, I had some boots that didn't sell for ages. Um, originally, I tried them at twenty-five, then I bought them down to twenty, and then looking at a couple of other resellers and what they were selling boots at. I brought them down to 17, I think. Um, I bought them for three quid each. And at the point they went to 17, like they just flew out. So that was good. Right, we're on to the last one now. And it's another item that was bought kind of new. Look at the dust on this. It's been at the top of the shelf. So there we go. Sell me. I should, I should be careful with this because it'll probably kick off my asthma. Okay, so this is. Can I actually get in it? Or is it sealed? So I think it's actually sealed, sealed. What it is, it's new. There's dust flying around everywhere. It's a bench coat. Let me get it up on eBay. If I start coughing in a minute. You'll know why. It's this. It's a bench, ladies. Car key. And I've got one in car key, one in black. Concise jacket. And I think I bought these for about 15 quid. And... Um, from M&M &M. Um, but thinking and again I think the original price would have been about 40 quid and I saw it at, 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 you know 50% discount I thought yeah who wouldn't want a bench um, jacket in black and uh, I probably bought them around November time four years ago I sold one, and weirdly it was on Amazon, and it went to Germany. Um, I forget how much the price was set, but I have not made my money back on these, so that is a huge fail. Now, what binds these together? Well, these are not individual items that I have gone. That would be good, you know. I know, I know that's a good buy, or that's a board game, or whatever. These are things that I am buying multiples of kind of thinking I think there's some money there you know and and probably thinking it's easy money and that is where I'm falling on my ass I'm probably seeing the pound signs come up and um, not doing enough research now saying that I've had plenty of um, times where I've bought hauls of stuff and I have made money and going through these Apart from the motorcycle helmet and these and jackets, so fifty percent, you know, um, I have made money on them. These these ones I haven't yet. I'm confident I will get my money back. And like I say, you know, an investment where you still you know lose 
is a learning experience and that's what we've all got to remember anyway i hope you enjoyed that i don't want to go on too much but if you've had some fails do let me know what they are so i can avoid them and everybody else can avoid them um bolos are great but you know anti-bolos probably a little bit more interesting anyway i hope you enjoyed that video take care and i'll see you soon